Now we're going to modify our edit distance um, function from the last practical to instead do global alignment. Um, so in our, if you recall in the last practical for our edit distance, we have a penalty of one for skip characters um, and for mismatches. But in reality, we want, might want to penalize certain kinds of errors more. Um, for example, a skip character, we might not want to penalize that more than just a simple mismatch. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, so I've already pasted in here my edit distance function, which I'm going to modify uh, to global alignment. So to start with here, I'm just going to define uh, the alphabet we're working with. And then I want to define a two-dimensional array which will have all of the penalties for the different mismatches we have. So I'm going to call this score. And this is, we have four characters in our alphabet, so I'm going to make this a five by five array. So it will have the mismatch of each character to a different character, to each other character, as well as the skips, the penalty for skipping each character. So the, for the top left uh, four by four of this array will have the mismatches of each character against um, each other character. So A um, against A is a match, so we're not going to penalize that at all. A mismatch of A to C would be a penalty of 4. A mismatch of A to G will be a penalty of 2. And a mismatch of A to T will be a penalty of 4. So since A and G are both purines, right? Mm -hmm. Since those are both purines, they're more likely to have a, a mismatch there than uh, a against C or T, which are a different pyrimidine, so it's a different type of nucleotide, or different, slightly different structure. So we're penalizing the C and T more than G, right? And then the last character in this row will just be if, they're, if an A is skipped. So we're going to give this a penalty of 8. So I'm going to do this for each row now. So this is the row for C. So C against A is a penalty of 4. C against uh, itself is 0. Um, for two, and then for the skip is eight. Uh, this is for G, so it'll be two, four, zero, four, eight. Uh, for T, it should be four, two, four, zero, eight. And then the last row will just be all skips. Just like that. Did I get that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is um, our penalty matrix that we're going to use. Okay. So now let's modify this edit distance function to use that. So I'm going to rename this global alignment. Uh, the first few lines here, defining D, uh, just filling it out with zeros. Those don't have to change at all. Now these next steps are where we initialize the first row and the first column. So uh, for example, the first uh, row of this matrix corresponds to if we were to skip uh, the first i characters of y. So we have to calculate the penalties for the skips for that. So the top left character in our array is 0. And then we're just going to, for each character in the first row, we're going to take the, um, the character immediate to the left of it and add the penalty of skipping the current character in y. So I'm going to say, so I, I just want to take the range from 1 up to the end, since I don't want to touch the top left character. That will always be 0. And I take uh, the character i minus 1, and I add the correct penalty from that score function. So I'm going to sc score um, alphabet.index of x at i minus 1. So this alphabet.index will give us the index of the current character in x in that. So it'll be a number from 1 to 4. And that will tell us what row, what row to look at in our score array. And then we're going to take the last value of that row, because that will uh, give us the penalty for skipping that character. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. OK, cool. And then we'll do the same thing for the column. So I want to go from 1 up to the end of, this, of y. I'll take the character directly above it in the column, and then I'll add on it um, 
score negative ones, take the last row of that array, and then alphabet.index of y and minus one. You need to do um, i minus one instead of minus one. Oh, right, right. Yeah. yes. Now we just have to fill in the penalties here for our horizontal distance, vertical distance, and diagonal distance. So the horizontal distance, um, the penalty here would be if we were to skip a character in Y. So we want to do this similar to what we just did above, uh, score uh, the last row of that. And get the character at J minus 1 and Y. And so this will just add the penalty for skipping whatever is the current character in Y. Mm -hmm. And similarly, for the vertical distance, we have to calculate the penalty for skipping the character in X. Now for the diagonal distance, this penalty will be the score for a mismatch between two characters. So we'll just calculate the mismatch between the current characters in X and Y. Just like that. And then the rest of our function won't change. So we're still going to calculate the minimum of these edit distances for the current value in D. And then at the end of our function, we just return the value in the bottom right corner of this hmm. uh, array. So we only had to change one, two, three, four, five lines in the whole function. So yeah. it's pretty similar. OK, so now let's uh, test this out with a few strings. So I'm going to just make up a random uh, string x, and I'll set y initially to just be the same thing. And the edit yep. distance between two identical strings, as we would expect, is zero. If we have a skip in here, if we skip a character, now we have a penalty of eight, which is what we defined in our matrix. If instead of a skip, we have a uh, replacement, say we replace a G with a C, now our penalty is four. Mm -hmm. That's if, the transversion penalty. Right. That, yeah. If we replace G with A, which is another purine, now we only have a penalty of two. And if we have maybe a mismatch there and then a skip down here, now we have a penalty of 10, which is two plus eight for mm -hmm. the mismatch and the skip. So that's our global alignment function.